Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today at General Hospital, Port Charles gathers to say farewell to Spencer, Finn notices Gregory is withering faster than expected, and Willow encourages Michael to reunite with Sonny. Laura and Kevin arrive at the cemetery and place white roses on freshly created graves, followed by Cyrus. Alexis reads Spencer's eulogy as Sonny, Ava, and others arrive to place flowers on his grave. Trina, Portia, and Curtis are present as a Sam, Dante, Joss, Christina, Gregory, Finn, Liz, and Cam. Trina and Cam embrace, with Alexis being the last to place a rose down. Cam expresses his sorrow for Trina's loss, but she, too, feels sorry for him because Spencer, Joss, and Cam had been friends since they were children. Joss and Trina hug Cam, who asks whether he'll see her in Windermere. Trina isn't sure she can take it, so Cam urges her to contact him if she needs anything. Laura expresses gratitude to Alexis for the lovely eulogy, as well as to Ava for making Windermere available for the gathering, as it was Spencer's only real home. Ava checks on Trainer, who confesses to feeling numb. Ava has a lot to say to her, but Trainer replies she doesn't have to say anything because she has always been there to support her. Ava says she will always be there for her. Ava invites her and Portia to Windermere, but Portia believes they are returning home. Liz talks to Can about losing his oldest buddy, and he points out that he was also his oldest adversary. Liz will never forget their competition for Emma. Can goes to see his grandma, and Liz informs Finn that she needs to take care of something before returning home. Laura expresses her delight at having Cam here. Cam misses her, so he and Laura head to the car. Kevin tells them he'll catch up because he needs to take care of things. Finn notices that his father is immersed in thinking. Gregory says he has always wanted to be cremated, but now he feels he wants a location and a plaque where his sons can congregate in the future. Finn claims he does not need to think about it, but it is all he can think about. Gregory suddenly begins to experience an episode. Liz kneels by another grave, holding a small marker for Esme. Kevin joins her and puts a rose on the grave. Trina, Portia, and Curtis return home, and Trina receives a letter from the Sorbonne stating that they will hold a space for her next semester. However, she has no plans to return to Paris or PCU. She claims that school and everything else are pointless. Curtis advises her that now is not the time to make life-changing decisions. Later, Trina chooses to go for a walk by the lake alone, she finds the turtle dove in her jacket pocket and recalls Spencer giving it to her. At Windermere, Ava has created an album of Spencer images that she discovered while packing. The doorbell rings and Ava goes to answer it. Meanwhile, everyone discusses Spencer and how they can't believe he's gone. When Ava answers the door, she finds Cyrus there. Ava informs Cyrus he isn't wanted here, but he claims he came for his sister. Laura approaches and gives Ava permission to let him in. Ava storms off, and Cyrus admits he wasn't expecting such hatred on a day like today. Laura asks why he'd do anything else. Laura informs Cyrus that he has caused harm to many individuals and that others perceive him negatively. He asks, A monster? Is that how you perceive me too? Cyrus decides to go and reminds her that he cares about her and wants to do the right thing, and he is convinced that she will recognize it one day. Joss and Cam console one another, and she claims that he affected Spencer and made him a better person. Sam assures Dante that he can grieve too because he is not on duty today. Dante is concerned about his father at the moment and informs Sam that the FBI is investigating Sonny's shooting, and the head investigator, John Cates, has a quarrel with his father. Sam assumes Sonny doesn't know, so he approaches up and asks, Sonny doesn't know what? What are you not telling me? Dante claims that more people than Anna and Jordan are looking into the Metro court shooting, and because it is an ongoing investigation, he is unable to comment. Sonny decides to go, and he thanks Ava for hosting them all. Meanwhile, 
Dante asks Sam if he made a mistake by not telling Sonny, but Sam believes it's a good thing he didn't tell his father about the FBI's involvement. Dante suspects Sonny will disagree once he learns the truth. Cam and Joss leave, and Joss wishes they could have seen each other under better circumstances. Cam agrees, but is delighted they saw each other. He inquires about Dex, and Joss responds that they are fine, which makes her pleased. Cam just wants everyone to be happy. Sonny goes to his office and calls Brick, who does not have anything yet. He wants to know who the traitor is so he can confront him. Back at the cemetery, Kevin explains that he wasn't expecting to see Liz at Esm's grave. Liz knows Esm caused Cameron misery, but she also helped Nicholas hold her captive. Kevin felt sad for Esm, who was the most lonely person he had ever known. Heather arrives in chains and collapses in sorrow at Esm's grave. Heather cries, saying she attempted to persuade her daughter to forget about Spencer and wait until she could help her find her baby again. Heather doesn't see why Esm pursued Spencer. He was never worth it, and she laments that her baby must have died at sea. Liz apologizes to Heather for her loss. Heather tells Liz that she admires her for giving Esm a fighting shot in life by sheltering her from Nicholas. Heather lashes out at Kevin, claiming Esm would still be alive if not for him. Liz defends Kevin, claiming he tried to aid Esm. Heather continues to shout at Kevin for years of shielding Ryan, attempting to cure him, and releasing him back into the world, where he can get his hands on Esm. She yells, It's good people like you who destroy lives. Liz reassures Kevin that he is not accountable for Ryan's conduct. Heather claims Liz always looks for the best in people, but Kevin knows she's right. Heather inquires as to what will happen to her grandson, and Kevin assures her that Ace will be well cared for and is in excellent hands with Laura. Heather asks Liz to keep an eye on them and warns Kevin that he must treat Ace better than he did Esm or face the consequences. Heather goes down and kisses Esm's marker before being escorted back to Pentonville. In other news, Gregory requests that Finn talk to him in order to distract him from the current episode. Finn discusses Violet, and after Gregory has calmed down, Finn wonders whether this has happened before. Gregory reveals that it has, and the last time Tracy irritated him so much that he forgot about the episode. Finn urges Gregory to go to the hospital, but he refuses. Finn grows enraged at his father for concealing symptoms from him, and he wants to help him. Gregory claims he wants to save him, but no one can. Gregory only wants an honest and loving connection with him in the time he has remaining, and they embrace. Liz rejoins Finn while Gregory is in the car. Finn is aware that his father's condition is deteriorating, and he recently experienced an episode. She apologizes to him. Finn knows his father won't be able to care for himself for much longer. At the gatehouse, Michael White's Amelia's spit up off himself and remembers he sent Wiley to school without his workbook. Willow returns home from work, and he wonders how she makes it appear so simple. She claims there is no secret, just a lot of support. Willow checks on Amelia, and then discovers Michael reading through Wiley's workbook. She notices he isn't in a hurry to get to work, and inquires whether he is still experiencing issues with Drew. Michael says he isn't, but Drew begged him to help him get back at Nina, and he declined. She claims he had to be tempted, and he acknowledges he was, but he does not want to risk losing his family again. Willow appreciates him because it means a lot to her that he backs up his words with action. Willow claims that not only they, but also his father, need to mend. She claims he can't avoid Sonny indefinitely, and this isn't their first disagreement. Michael has not seen his father since Bobby's funeral. Willow urges him not to give up on his father. Michael leaves for work. Willow is alone, looking through family photos on a tablet, and appears troubled as she looks out the window. On the next general hospital, Brooke Lynn says, let's do this. At the PCPD, John inquires about what they went to jail to hide from him. Finn informs Chase that their father can no longer live on his own. Martin asks Nina, how exactly do you propose to do that? Michael pays Sonny a visit and hopes that his father will forgive him. Anna yells at someone, get the hell out of my way. Thanks for watching if you like this video. 
so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.